<laughs> All right. Well, welcome, Dale. I'm so happy you could make it. It was so great to meet you the other day. So let's pretend we never met and that we're still, you know, at a networking event. So give me your elevator pitch that you would normally give to someone you first meet. Okay. Thank you, Chala. So when I first meet someone, I just like to say um, I offer a great service that gives everyone affordable access to the legal system. It doesn't matter if you're an individual or a family or a small business. We can look after your legal needs for a flat monthly fee. And we also have an amazing identity theft protection plan for you and your family so that you don't have to worry about your identity while you're out doing your business. Mm -hmm. I love what you do because it is so full of pain. So do I have your permission to polish your pitch? You sure do. All right. So I know what you do. I have had, I was a client, not of yours directly, but many years ago. So what I'd love is if you were to tell me which side of the business you seem to attract more pain in. Is it the, the identity theft or the legal shield? More so the legal. Okay. Because, great. you know, there are a lot of home based business owners. Okay. All right. So you're doing everything I wanted you to do, which is to focus. So I help home based business owners do what? So what's the number one problem for them? Is it that they're getting sued? Is it that, you know, what is it that they need? They need like paperwork? Like what? Most of the time, they just need great advice from a good lawyer, a good business lawyer. About what? Anything about their business. Like, can I meet people in my home? Do I have to have insurance? Okay. Do I need to incorporate? Like all those things are huge questions. I have a consent form. Could you look at it for me and make sure I'm legally protected? What is the number one most costly problem that you have ever seen Legal Shield solve for those home-based businesses while you were working? Okay, I had a lady that decided she didn't want to be affiliated with a jewelry company anymore. Uh huh. They owed her a large sum of money. Okay. So the lawyer so suggested she write the letter on her own, and he checked it for her. Uh -huh. And they offered to give her a couple hundred dollars, and they owed her like thousands. So is that a dissolution of business or is that a dissolution of partnership? What would that be? Like, is that trying to get money from a client? No, they, they owed her money for the jewelry that she had sold on their behalf. Hmm. Okay. So I'm trying to categorize it into a problem that we can put a statistic behind. So like three out of four business owners are uh, sued and have to pay thousands in, you know, legal fees which we handle for a flat monthly fee, a mi minor flat monthly fee, or you know, three out of four business owners leave minimum $100,000 on the table per month because they can't resolve conflict with clients or with their affiliates. Or, do you know what I mean? Like some form of Do you know what's pain. really interesting is that yeah. three out of four business owners have like small little amounts, like three, $400, $2,000 that they need collected. And it's, it's a bother to do that, and it costs a lot of money to hire a lawyer. So if you had a lawyer that could do that on your behalf for a mm. flat monthly fee, because, you know, when you're a home-based business, it doesn't mean that you have that large contract. So I love that. Collectibles. Collections. Yes. Okay, so. A lot of debt collection. Love it, love it, love it. So then your elevator pitch becomes when you meet me, yeah. I am a home-based business. Did you know that, you know, 70% of home-based businesses don't collect debt, don't collect you know, clients that are that owe money to them because they want to avoid the lawyer fees or they can't afford the lawyer yeah, fees. Yeah, that's perfect. What we do is we provide that service for them at a very low monthly cost, flat rate. Yeah, that's perfect. Do you see how what you're saying is completely different than what you normally say? Yes. And, and it's funny. When, when I think about it, when I hone in on the, the debt collection first, that's, like, the, that's, that's always the pain point. Because, and, and so you become more specific and because people can only listen to pain and it's biological because we're supposed to, we're programmed to notice danger. So if you're talking about danger or you're talking yep. about something that's going to happen to them, they have to notice. It's biological. So when your marketing message, including your elevator pitch, talks about that, they will start listening instead of you talking about you. Right. You know, what you do, nobody cares. I mean, it's not just you, Dale. It's just everyone, <laughs> I know. right? Thank you. Does that make sense? Is it that does. Okay? That's awesome. Good. Thank you. You were easy. That was an easy peasy one. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so very much, much. Dale. <laughs>